uh, Greg Spicola. All right, Greg is doing the uh, pre-flight on the aircraft now. This is the AR-1, American Ranger 1 from Silverlight. Uh, says so right down there. And Silverlight is based here at the Zephyr Hills Airport, which is one of the most, well, I don't know, active airports, although it probably is that too, but it's certainly one of the di most diverse airports in the entire country with skydiving and sailplanes and trikes and gyroplanes and an eclipse jet and a fleet of RVs and a Lancer and I guess you name it and it flies here at Zephyr Hills, Greg says. And I've heard nothing but good about how everyone cooperates here with all those different airplanes. You'd think there could be potential for conflict, but I'm told, and Greg reinforces that, nope, everybody plays real nicely together, and it just makes a nice airport for people to be at. So Greg is completing, he started his uh, pre-flight in the hangar because it's a hot day here in Florida and you want to stay out of the sun as much as you can, but some of it is best done outside. So he's doing his pre-flight of the AR-1 right now. This tail plane that you see on it is one of the things that's really changed the game in modern gyros. They didn't all have that at first. They didn't have hardly anything at first. And gyros got kind of a bad reputation back in the days of the Igor Benson gyro. He may have plowed some new ground and been quite a pioneer, but it was not all great in those days, I'm told. And today, it's a much different game and a much different animal and a very stable, nice flying machine. Nice, warm, sunny day down here in Florida. And we're going to go up and I'm going to get another of my series of flight lessons in a gyrocopter. Dan Johnson reporting from Zephyr Hills Airport, Florida.